This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. The Republican Party has for a long time existed in a fantasy land, adhering to conspiracy theories to try to make their worldview work. But under Donald Trump, they have not, they've, they've stopped just existing in it and they have set up camp. They have erected buildings. It's now a town. That was a clumsy, clumsy metaphor. <laughs> but a true one. The Republican Party is steeped in conspiracy theory and fanciful thinking. And this is no more laid bare than in what I'm getting ready to talk about, which is the the plan of Donald Trump supporters to, to elect him president, even if he's removed from the ballot because of uh, his, his participation or giving aid and comfort to insurrectionists. It, it is nuts. I'm going to read a little bit from this Newsweek uh, article, the headline, Trump supporters reveal plan to get him elected if he's removed from the ballot. And you're never going to believe what the, what, what the plan is. Donald Trump supporters are vowing to submit write-in ballots backing the former commander-in-chief at the 2024 presidential election if he is ruled ineligible to stand again due to the Constitution's 14th Amendment. (laughs) Write-in ballots. (laughs) Donald Trump can't win an election when he's on the ballot. How... In the world, do these people believe that they're going to be able to 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 organize a write-in ballot campaign, the with with the efficacy to actually elect a person president of the United States? These people have so little understanding of what it takes to run for and win a presidential election that they think they can just. Write him in the ballot. Under this rule, anyone who took an oath to support the Constitution of the United States but then went on to engage in insurrection or rebellion is barred from holding any office, civil or military. In a 126-page report, professors William Bodd and Michael Stokes Paulson, associated with the conservative and libertarian legal organization Federalist Society, say that the 14th Amendment, quote, disqualified former President Trump from office and potentially many others because of their participation in the attempted overthrow of the 2020 presidential election. A number of prominent Democrats have suggested that the 14th Amendment could block Trump from running in 2024. These include Virginia Senator Tim Kaine, who argued there is a powerful argument to be made, and California Representative, who's now running for Senate, Adam Schiff, who said the provision fits Donald Trump to a T. Polling indicates Trump is by some margin the preferred potential Republican candidate with GOP voters, potentially sparking legal challenges over his eligibility to serve a second term. The former president denies any wrongdoing in connection with his alleged attempts to overturn the results of the 2020 election in the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot. It's an insurrection. It's an insurrection. It was an insurrection. It's not the Capitol riot. Trump has repeatedly criticized the special counsel Jack Smith's investigation and argued that it is politically motivated. Trump supporters have taken to Twitter, vowing that they will still back him as a write-in candidate, even if he is disqualified. Charles Downs, who writes for the Alex Jones-founded site, National File, wrote, A lot of Americans will write in Trump if he is illegally removed off the ballot. That being said, it's more likely than not SCOTUS, Supreme Court of the United States, will block efforts to kick Trump off the ballot. In America, the people, not the deep state, choose the president. Amy Kramer, co-founder of Women for Trump, posted a photo of the former president's Georgia mugshot, adding, if Trump is removed from the ballot, I will write him in. 
and Candace Taylor, not to be outdone, who launched an unsuccessful primary challenge to Georgia's Republican Governor Brian Kemp in 2022, added, same. <laughs> well, I don't think it needs to be said or explained to you, but many out there may be watching. They don't know just how difficult it is to wage a write-in ballot campaign that actually works. This, this, this is an, an almost impossible endeavor at a local level. If you're running for city council or, or for county commissioner, even in those races, it is a Herculean task. But to effort this in a presidential election across 50 disparate states, and I don't know the number of territories, it's an impossibility. But again... Republicans exist in fantasy land. They exist in their reality where, oh, no big deal. They, they jettison from their minds the fact that Donald Trump didn't win the popular vote in 2016, barely eked out a win to become president. And in 2020, he, his, his, the, the distance between him and the, uh, it relative to the popular vote and Joe Biden was even farther apart, didn't win. They act like he's a shoe in They act like, because in their minds, they say he won so astronaut, the margins were huge. Donald Trump has said in, in interviews that he thinks he won every state, all 50 states. <laughs> Donald Trump, who couldn't muster more than 40% approval ratings throughout the entirety of his presidential campaign, he also, well, he's he led to this fanciful conspiracy thinking nonsense. Anyway, oh no, they revealed their plan. What will we do? <laughs> oh, I guess the storm is coming again. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. If you want to help support my work, I would encourage that. Please consider it. Click the join button below. Become a channel member for $1.99 a month, or you can hit the super thanks button, or even better, go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, where you can support all of the work there. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I'll see you on social media. I'm at Dollamore all the way across the board, at Dollamore. And I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.